Hi, it's Santa Cruz Mesa R&D. Today, I wanted to share a little tip with you on making a torque plate. Uh, a lot of people use a hole saw to get most of the material out, and it's a lot easier than drilling a whole bunch of holes in here and having chips go everywhere. The trick is to drill a hole like this so that your chips have some place to go. And I'm going to show you how this is done. I've already drilled the hole on this uh, last uh, piece I'm going to cut just to show you how this is done. Once you get your hole saw centered, you can go ahead and mill it out. I'm going to use a little cutting oil on here. Without the hole, we'd have these chips all trying to pack up in here. It'd be a real mess. And that's all there is to it. Now our next step will be to take and uh, bore this to size using this special modified uh, boring tool and we'll show you how that's done in another video. If you have questions about torque plate manufacturing give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.